because I want this to be a really pleasant experience for her and not a, um, you know, and not a more stressful uh, experience. And generally, if bunnies greet each other with, they put their heads kind of on top of their other heads. It's like a hello, you know, and then, so bunnies generally feel comfortable with sort of a firm contact on the top of the head. I tend to use the back of my fingers because again, it's still less threatening, there's less heat, there's less the sense of being able to grab. Now, if you have a, a, an aggressive rabbit, and this is uh, Sarah Fisher in the TV program they did, they had these like attack rabbits and things like that. So they attached feathers to the end of the wand, which gave more distance, which made it a little safer to start stroking the rabbits. And in the case of most of the rabbits that they worked with, it was the whole thing of what they thought is anytime anyone came and put their hands near them, what were they going to do? Pick them up. So their defense was, if I bite you, maybe you'll stay away from me. <coughs> so I'm going to um, just start, not so differently than from the cat, now, bunny's ears. Bunny's ears are important for them, aren't they? And Lauren's going to share a little bit of her bunny knowledge because she's like, she doesn't look like a rabbit the way Marty looks like a llama. But... <laughs> 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 I guess it's more the guinea pig, right? Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> guinea pig here. So I found out she's at working the ears can be very settling for rabbits, just like with any other animal. So this, what kind of a rabbit is this? She is a lop. Yes. She is a spayed female. She's six and a half years old. She was turned into the local animal control when she was about two months old. And I took her in after that, was fostering her, and realized, of course, that she wasn't going anywhere after that. <laughs> So one of the things that I notice about her, and this is not uncommon for her, is that, that she's not she's she's sitting with her belly up off of the off of the um, towel. If she were relaxed, she would have her belly down. It's like she's ready to move in a way if she had the opportunity. And of course, with rabbits, you have to be so careful with their that their hind legs don't aren't free because they can kick out and they can break their backs or really injure their backs. So it's one of the reasons that we have to be so careful with them. And Robin, Robin asked me to interject here and there while she's working and <clears throat> sorry, what I would really like you to observe as Robin is working is that she slowed, she slowed her voice down a little from normal. She's actually really conscious with every contact or close contact that she is making with the, with the bunny and with the cat. So I really want you to pay attention to that movement and to be able to mirror that movement she's making. And you go the next time to work on an animal. 